In this video, we are going over top anime by Takashi Obata. So the first anime is Bakuman. As a child, Moitaka Mashiro dreamt of becoming a mangaka just like his childhood hero and uncle Taro Kawaguchi, a creator of popular gag manga. But when tragedy strikes, he gives up his dream and spends his middle school days studying aiming to become a salaryman instead. One day, his classmate Akito Takagi, a school's top student and aspiring writer, notices the detailed drawings in Moitaka's notebook. Seeing the vast potential of his artistic talent, Akito approaches Moitaka proposing that they become mangaka together. After much convincing, Moitaka realizes that if he is able to create a popular manga series, he may be able to get the girl he has crush on. Mio Azuki to take part in the anime adaptation as a voice actor. Thus the pair begin creating manga under the pen name Muto Ashirogi, hoping to become the greatest mangaka in Japan, the likes of which no one has ever seen. This anime has around 75 episodes and has a rating of 8.53 on my anime list. Next one is Hikaru no Go. While searching through his grandfather's attic, Hikaru Shindo stumbles upon an old Go board. Touching it, he is greeted by a mysterious voice and soon after falls unconscious. When he regains his senses, he discovers that the voice is still present and belongs to Fujiwara no Sai, the spirit of an ancient Go expert, a Go instructor for the Japanese Empire in the Heian era. Sai's passion for the game transcends space and time, allowing him to continue playing his beloved game as a ghostly entity. Sai's ultimate goal is to master a divine Go technique that no player has ever achieved so far. He seeks to accomplish this by playing the board game through Hikaru. Despite having no interest in board games, Hikaru agrees to play, executing moves as instructed by Sai. However, when he encounters the young Go prodigy Akira Toya, a passion for the game is slowly ignited within him. Inspired by his newfound rival, Hikaru's journey into the world of Go is just beginning. This anime has around 75 episodes and has a rating of 8.8 .8 on my anime list. Next one is Doll Puppeteer Sakon. The dark haired Bishonen is Sakon Tachibana, a puppeteer, and the other one is Ukon, his favorite puppet and best friend. Sakon is the only grandson of Simon Tachibana, a national treasure of Japan, famous for his manipulation of Bunraku puppets. Ukon is a child doll puppet made in the early Meiji era by a famous doll maker, Inosuke. Together, they run into murders and solve them. This anime has around 26 episodes and it has a rating of 7.37 on my anime list. Next one is Platinum N. Ever since he lost his family in an explosion, Mirai Kakashi has lived a life of pain and despair. Every day he enters abuse at the hands of the relatives who took him in. As his anguish steadily chips away at his will to live, he is eventually pushed to the brink. Prepared to throw it all away, he stands on the edge of a precipice and takes the leap. However, instead of falling to death, he encounters a trance where he meets a winged being who claims to be his guardian angel, named Naze. The angel offers him two priceless abilities and convinces him to go on living. When Mirai experiences the marvels of his new powers first hand, he gets the taste of freedom that was locked away from him for so long. Armed with Nasi's gift, Mirai is flung into shadows with 12 other individuals, one of which will be chosen to become the next god. In stark contrast to when he wanted to end his life, Mirai is now prepared to do whatever it takes to protect his blink chance at happiness. At least it will be wrenched from his grasp forever. This anime has around 24 episodes and has a rating of 6.5 on my anime list. And the last one is Death Note. Brutal murders, petty thefts, and senseless violence pollute the human world. In contrast, the realm of Death God is humdrum, unchanging, and gambling den. The ingenious 17 year old Japanese student Light Yagami and the sadistic god of death Ryuk share one belief. Their worlds are rotten. For his own amusement, he drops his death note into the human world. Light stumbles upon it, deeming the first of its to reckless. The human whose name is written in this note shall die. However, the temptation is too great, and Light experiments by writing a felon's name, which disturbingly annexes his first murder. Aware of the terrifying godlike powers that has fallen into his hands, Light, under the allies of Kira, follows his wicked senses of justice with the ultimate goal of cleansing the world of all evil duels. Antiquous mastermind detective L is already on his trail, but has the light brilliance rivals else? The grand chase for Kira turns into an intense battle of wit that can only be end when one of them is dead. This anime has around 37 episodes and has a rating of 8.62 on my anime list.